So what we're doing is we're drilling the drainage holes in a, in a little um, super holes. Boxes, this is the right way up to the letter boxes, but this is the right way up to the planter. Yep. Every single um, the side ones, not the middle ones, have got um, this the gap between the letter boxes down the side, so that will be drainage. The flaps off. The flaps will come off. Spring. The spring. A little groove here. Push that little groove over, and it releases. Both sides with spring. You know, Gregory? Voila. Voila. So I looked at it all and decided I didn't want the little flappy lids on all of the boxes. So I've picked that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, and one on each end just for the sheer entertainment value. So we're just filling holes for the chains and I've just got some chain that used to be from a planter I think, from a hanging basket and it's just being cooked. Mm -hmm. And then we have a little screw that goes up to about there and it will give us a choice of whether or not we want the flaps up a little bit. Mm. Well, it's looking good. My box is looking good. I can take any of those um, flaps off if I want to. It's going to look excellent. Got the soil. So we have sand to make it to aid drainage. We've got vermiculite, which is the white stuff you can see. It's yep. basically to make it lighter. Yep. Um, and we have water crystals and a little tiny bit of um, this stuff, fertilizer. Fertilizer. And so that's for our succulents. And these are all the succulents that we're about to, to plant in. Our boxes and we've put this um, it's recycled uh, I think it's carpet underlay or something in that'll hold the soil in without it sort of going through the holes or anything the soil. So, if we use the, um, the dustpan fits nicely in Perfect. There we go. spread that soil out we're starting to place the, the plants where we think they might need to go. We want to put the ones that, that hang and droop on the sides from the top of the, um, the little flaps to water them. But those ones are a real bugger to water. You need a um, long neck spout or one of those pump bottles. Or a dustpan. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. <laughs> I love my dustpan. It's been very useful today. It really has. Look at it. It's kind of finished. We've planted it all out. We haven't trimmed off the um, carpet underlay yet because we're waiting till the soil compacts down so that the soil doesn't drop out. And some of them need a few more plants put in. We've got all the big spilly ones at the top those ones when we trim off the um the thing will be more obvious and we've got a couple of big plants and the burrows ears should spill down the side and the chains of hearts so i don't know i think it looks good i just kicked the bucket <laughs> i think it's good ah oh, it took four times the amount of potting mix that we thought it would so it took four bags of potting mix we've got 15 compartments so that's a, a rough guide they're quite deep and we had to fill them up quite high to get enough depth so what else did it take took double the amount of plants that we thought it would take yeah and apart from that she used everything we had <laughs> we used everything we had it took only one kind of spray paint to do it just a close-up of the succulents that we've planted I'm not sure of the name of most of them I know that's Echeveria I call it the cabbage one. I really like that. I just bought that this morning to put in. Got some cute little things. I think they were sedums. I think they were called sedums. I think those are called sedums. They're the jelly bean ones. I don't know, we just call those the flower things. No idea what they are. I really like those. They're very sculptural. 
That's an agave. That's Burroughs ears, Burroughs ears, chain of hearts. I thought that this morning I forgot what they are already. 